everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shimey. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be reacting to the Dune trailer. This has been a long-awaited trailer for a very long time. And in all honesty, I don't know what it's about. I only know that this is based off a very famous novel called Dune, obviously. And that there was a 19, I think, 1984 movie that there was before, obviously, this movie came out. So this is obviously kind of not a remake, but it's more of like a... It's kind of like, what's that movie that um, Bradley Cooper made? Um, a Star is Born, that's been made like five times, I think, or something. And then obviously he did his own version, which was oh, so good. So obviously this is another version of Dune. I am excited. It does seem very interesting. It is very sci-fi looking. And the cast is top-notch. Like, I was really surprised when the first photographs came out, like, months ago. And I was like, Jesus, like, there's so many big names on this list and they're all so good um in their own way so I'm excited to see how the, the chemistry works because like I don't think many of them have worked together so it's going to be interesting to see how this works and obviously Timothy Chalamet is like the main character I'm pretty sure um but anyway let's jump into this trailer I have no idea what's going on so let's go in before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movie trailers video games and tv shows so without further ado let's jump straight into this What did you see? Woo! There's a crusade coming. Ooh. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. Oh. You die. Oh, it's in the box. Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Oh, just roll in! Heck yeah! Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. Oh, Oscar Isaac, oh my god! He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Damn. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jason Momoa! I completely forgot. Oh my god, this cast! This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? One day, the legend will be born. Oh, I'm getting chills. Depends on it. The future, I can see it. Not fear. This cinematography is amazing already. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke, where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Go, go, Excuse go. me? Reminds me of something else, but damn! Oh, look at that cast! That's amazing to get that ama like that many people who are that talented on one project. God damn! I'm just gonna quickly rewatch it just because I want to just like analyze it a little bit more because I kind of was like hi hyperventilated through half of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I rewatched the trailer and just taking in again the cinematography already just seems out of this world so I feel like it's already going to be nominated for something at the Oscars or even the Golden Globes because god damn like the aesthetics and this again the cinematography is just 
beautiful already, even though we haven't even seen the film. So what I get from it is that Timothy Chalamet's character is the son of Oscar Isaac's character and Josh Brolin's kind of like the teacher figure, which is obviously like, you know, like teaching him how to fight and all his different skills. And who was the lady who was talking about pain? Because I thought that was Helen Mirren, but I didn't think that is her. Oh no, it was Charlotte Rampling. Oh, she's an amazing actress as well. But my first thought went to Helen Mirren. This seems obviously like there is another force coming and taking over the planet that Timothy Chalamet's character is on. And I did read a little bit about the book that his fam- not his family, but he escapes and goes to the planet. I can't remember what the name was, but it was a desert planet, which essentially has those worms that we did see at the end of the trailer. And I was going to say, those remind me of the other countries will know these books, because they are written by an Aussie author, the Del Toro Quest books, and... She, um, in one of her books, um, what's it called? The Shifting Sands, that's what it's called. And they also have, not worms, but they have these sort of bugs that do roam the sand. So that kind of reminded me of that. And that just gave me the feels because I was like, oh my god. But anyway, that's a different story. But I am very curious about this movie. It looks so good. And again, like, we haven't gotten, like, a brand new sci-fi movie in a long time. Like, obviously we have Star Trek and we have, um, well, I think people, I'm not sure if people class Star Wars as sci-fi, but... You know, it's space. So I really am excited for this because, in all honesty, I haven't really watched a lot of sci-fi movies and I would like to get into them more because they seem very interesting and this seems like a really good movie. And even just, even though we don't know too much about the story, I like it because, like, with trailers, they tend to obviously tell the whole story and I was kind of worried because this trailer was quite long but it didn't give us too much it gave us very little dialogue and it was obviously just giving us peaks like there's this obviously this young boy who has these powers and he's saying like he can't control them he probably will be able to control them later but he said like that lady was telling him obviously that he needs to control that but also learn to control not control but um I guess govern a people because she's obviously warning him about maybe the dangers that are coming in the future. And it seems like he is, what do they call those people who kind of can sense the future? I think they're clairvoyant. It's like you can sense what's going to happen next. So I'm guessing he's kind of like that, or maybe he has some other powers. But it just seems like he's very clairvoyant, so he can obviously tell what's going to happen next. And he's obviously getting these visions through his dreams. So that's very interesting, and I like that. And just, again, the cast is like star-studded and I'm so excited to see like the chemistry again like instantly with Timothy and Zendaya they showed like that kiss scene and I was like damn (laughs) like even though we didn't even see any chemistry between them already like I'm already on board for it because you guys know obviously I like romance and just anything to do with it but yeah I'm curious about Oscar Isaac's character because obviously he seems like the father figure of Timothy Chalamet's character so I'm excited to see like how like because he seems very like um, stern, very, like, you know, in his place, like, very stubborn, so I'm kind of excited to see, like, what his character is like, and in terms of if there is going to be some sort of takeover of his planet, how he's going to react, and maybe if he's going to stand firm and be like, no, we fight here, or we have to escape, da-da-da. Um, Rebecca Ferguson's character is also, like, I think she's the mother of um, Timothy Chalamet's character as well, because it seems like that. So I'm excited to see what she's like, too, because she seems very, like, like, stoic as well. Like, that was the word I was looking for for us, Isaac, as well. Um, But she also seems very stoic, so I'm excited to see, like, how she reacts. She seemed, like, obviously, like, she was kind of trying to escape, so I'm excited to see, like, what her, like, character's opinion is, like, about the whole situation that's unraveling. Um, But just, again, I can't believe that this cast is, like, in this movie, because it's, like, you know, Dave Bautista, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, um, Jason, I think I said Jason Momoa, and then, um, Javier, um, I can't remember his last name, but Javier, he's, um, in Skyfall, Ah, oh, like, ah, oh, what else can I say? Like, this already seems like it's gonna be a good movie, but again, I shouldn't have my heart hopes too high, because, you know, this happens every time, but, uh, I'm I'm praying that this is going to be good because it looks very interesting and 
I'm excited to see where it goes either way. And I hope we get more trailers soon because everyone's been waiting for this trailer for a long time, obviously, because with COVID happening, I guess they're trying to push it back further and further to try and get it into the cinemas. So I'm excited to see what happens. Like, hi! So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the trailer for Dune. Again, I'm very excited. And this, again, is based off a novel. So I might try and find the novel and read it because it seems very interesting. And I would like to... In a way, like, I want to keep it a surprise, but at the same time, like, I want to compare the book to the movie. So I'm, tr I'm going to decide whether I watch the movie first and then read the book. Because sometimes I've done that and then sometimes the book ends up being better, obviously. There is a lot of occasions. But I'm excited either way. Like, oh my god. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!